Okay, so we're here in round one. Uh, as usual, when I play this myself, I play green. Today, green, blue. And <clears throat> my deck isn't blue enough to be the good green, blue deck. We did not see any blue at all. And uh, the ramp part of our green deck is not explosive enough. So this deck actually seems way too fair for this cube. I played one by myself yesterday with a mono green ramp deck that was really bonkers. I was alone on green and I could ramp big stuff out like turn three. Uh, and even then I went out in the semifinals um, in some close games. And this is just a mulligan because we have nothing to do. Okay, so we'll run this. Go the opposition way keep and I actually think we put that on top eh why well, no bottom so our opponent starts we go search elf opposition no search Elf. Oh yeah, yeah, we can do that. Okay. Okay, so we're, as I said, we did not see any blue, and probably everyone else is probably, mostly of them are playing blue. So, because it's just the best color and it's the deepest color, and so on. Uh, and the power nine cards that aren't artifacts are all blue. So. And they're all in, the, in this cube. Our opponent is thinking about brainstorming, maybe? No? Okay. Uh, Blue-white, so facing control. And as I said, there are so much fast mana in this cube, so everyone can ramp. You don't have to be uh, green to do it. So we play... Uh, this elf, because next turn we can opposition. We don't have anything black to go with this, but it's still early mana. I would have preferred this to be Elvish Mystic, Land or Elf, um, Findhorn Elf, and so on. Birds of Paradise, as we saw early. But then we took the. Okay, scroll rack. I think that's. I, I, I believe it's a good card. Uh, I just don't like it myself. <clears throat> I guess you put away the stuff that isn't relevant now. Exile, put that magnus on top of it. Okay, yeah, because then you draw the exile cards. But you can always... Uh, number. Ah, from your, yeah, you can always dig, dig for specific pieces, I guess. Okay, maybe we can cast this now. Uh, cast. We use it for green. We put in blue. Not in the upkeep. Okay, so we drew a lot of blue cards. And now we want to do stuff in there. Okay, so. Tap an untapped creature control. Tap target artifact, creature, or land. So, I guess we tap down this artifact in the upkeep. Uh, just because it maybe fixes his mana. I don't know. Could do it. Hmm, I guess we could have played out the tree speaker next last turn and used it for the opposition. Okay, so he tinkered. Uh, yeah, I mean we 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 this this is the type of cards you do want. 
the unfair cards. Uh, sacrifice an artifact, which there are plenty of. And then you search up the bite steel causes. <laughs> but now we can actually go island. Uh, I guess we could go. I guess Frost Titan is better. Or we could go um, Rafaelos Tree Speaker, tap down this one and two lands. Yeah, I guess we. No, we could not do that because the Rafaelos is double. Okay, so I've convinced myself to go Frost Titan. Tap down the. Huge trample infect dude. And then ah tap down a blue. I forgot that uh, I could use the Titan for uh, opposition. Okay, so he swords the Titan. And pays for it. Okay, so that's good for him. We go. Uh, fellows. Okay, so now we need more gas. We need uh, an offensive to go with this. <clears throat> I guess next turn something can start hitting. Okay, tap some stuff down. Ah, okay, I, oh, I actually <laughs> tapped down my own guy. <laughs> I think I clicked it in the wrong order. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Hopefully this isn't super relevant for this turn. The path was pretty good there. That he could remove the Titan. Because the Titan is one of our win cons. Okay, so now I guess I go uh, and twine 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So... Three, four, five, six, seven, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And hopefully it doesn't have a counter as a last card. Uh, boom. Uh, how does this work? Okay, so so maybe. Maybe not the turn. Maybe Crater Hoof Avenger. Done. How will this trigger? Okay, so that did it first. I wanted this to go first. Okay, so it worked out anyway. Yeah, I guess the the opposition showed it. The value there. We managed to fend off a Tinker into a Blightsteel turn three. Uh, tinker. Huge artifacts. Indestructible artifacts. <laughs> uh, but I guess if we ramp out stuff that can kill his other artifacts... Um, I mean, we cannot do much against the 11-11 except for Song of the Dryads, Opposition, or Mana Leaking, the Tinker, I guess. So we don't have 
anything in particular to put in. No, I guess we just run this and we mulligan there and manage to win against the blue deck with some good combos. So should be happy about winning that game. <clears throat> we both did some cool plays. Uh, okay, so now we have Elf into turn three natural order which could be our way of uh, doing some unfair stuff so we don't see anything blue here but I guess the library could fix that if we really need uh, we don't need this now because we don't have the opposition <laughs> oh the Mishra's workshop is very good Another of these, uh, one of the better cards, <laughs> if you are the artifact strategy, I mean, this is like a mox every turn. <laughs> uh, so, from what I've seen so far, I think his deck has uh, a lot of more power level than we do. Uh, we just play the fair grind game. Uh, I mean, as you see now, he has six mana. Turn two, we will have three in the color that actually is the ramp color. So we're pretty far behind even now. Uh, he, okay, so turn two, he has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, okay, <laughs> three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Turn two, he has eight mana and he isn't green. <laughs> Fair? No. Uh, so that's a problem with green in this cube. Uh, if you're mainly green, your deck is, even though you ramp as hard as you can and you have the natural order, Eureka and stuff, you still play. Uh, I mean, this is turn three. This cost X, uh, eight. It just has all the good abilities. Flying, first strike, vigilance, lifelink, protection from red and green. Ah, protection from our color. <laughs> and we have nothing to natural order. And we haven't even ramped. Yes, please. Uh, choose two cards in your hand. Drawn this turn. Okay, I guess we're just not doing anything. We play the row fellows, we take a big hit and we hope that we can natural order next turn to maybe stay in this. <laughs> okay, but I, yeah, I guess I should have learned my lessons. I know that uh, green alone isn't good enough in this cube, but I just love the color, so I always end up playing it. When nothing else seems uh, legit and uh, very open, I guess. I mean, I pr prefer blue as everyone else, but I did not... Okay. I need, did not get to play blue. Oh, protection from green. That means I cannot even do what I thought I would do now. Uh, why not? Put in hand. Put it on top. Max. Land. Yeah, I mean, this will not even. Uh, Uh, I guess it's not the Terostodon that does this. I hope this just works. No? No, okay, so it is the Terostodon doing it. Okay. Then... Uh, we're dead. <laughs> I thought it would be like the ability wasn't 
colored or something. Yeah, I mean, against that start, we cannot actually do anything. Uh, is the misstep anything here? No, I guess, I mean, he had the, the land that makes three mana. Three mana. I guess, I mean, for him it was uh, <laughs> an infinite black lotus. I guess we just hope for our most explosive draw against a slow draw from our opponents. And this is uh, as bad as it could be, I guess. Mulligan. And this is not explosive. Uh, keep. And I don't actually think we. I need that. And we go like this. Blue. Suspend. Uh, okay, so this is Chromax and we Excel target non artifact, non land card. Okay, so we could do this if we need to. I guess, I mean, if we play this out next turn, we could be all lands. So I guess I want the information. <clears throat> Hopefully, okay, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> If I want to play ramp, I should all I should go the artifact way, as you see. Okay. So maybe we go like this. Boom. Pitch the Garruk. Just to be able to ramp next turn. I guess. Hope for some luck living on the top of our library. Hellbent. Uh, yes, please. And <laughs> even though we actually have ramped, we are far from behind on the play. We're far behind on the play. <laughs> That's the problem of being fair and green <laughs> but we'll see hopefully he might not have uh, yeah and we mulligan as well okay yeah this game is probably lost now he goes metamorph okay for another relic Okay, so I guess we play out the Mox cast. Go Oracle cast cast. Uh, okay, so the next card is a Terastodon. Yeah, we're not, I guess, one, two, three, four, five, six. If there are two lands on top after the Terrestrial, we could actually play it next turn. <laughs> so I, I think this was about as explosive we could be, except for a turn one mana dork, but... Uh, he has five cards and as, and a lot of mana. We have zero cards and a lot of mana. Okay, thirst is yeah. I mean blue based blue artifact with the thirst, the all the good um, mana cards, the Misha's workshop, maybe an ancestral recall, a tinker. That type of deck is really good. And soon, maybe our ancestral can show itself. Okay, Garrock is on top. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're far from casting this. He has five cards in hand. But next turn, I hope that the, the ancestral 
vision will show itself. Double collision relic is not bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine man on our opponent. We have six. Yeah, and now comes the Sphinx. And it's, I mean, that is uh, one of, yeah, and it's protection from green, so what can we do? He's netting uh, six, uh, no, 12 in a life difference each turn, so we cannot even raise it. Uh, I mean, it's protected from everything we do. Okay, so it's upkeep. Play a land. Play another land. We can, I, I, yeah, we cannot race it. I think. I mean, it's just too much life and it's vigilant so it just eats our guys every turn so if we attack with a 9-9 nine, nine, we net he nets plus yeah mm. yeah okay the frost titan will come down next turn if we keep enough mana okay I guess, we, oh, he, <laughs> he dazed it. Yeah, and we cannot pay for it. No. <laughs> okay, so we hope that the Frost Titan can be enough. Days. Yeah, but we had nothing else to play. I guess that... Putting out the the Terastodon and next turn actually getting to resolve a Frost Titan, then we could have uh, won this. Now he will just spell sky the Frost Titan effect. Uh, so that was a pretty relevant draw for our opponent. And Garrock can actually not kill. The, the spell skate, sadly. Three damage to that, it cannot damage that either. <laughs> I guess the stump hauler can kill the spell skate. Okay. Then we go Garruk, and then next turn we lock down the Sphinx, maybe. And we have a natural order coming, even though we don't have... Yeah, okay, yeah. And then we have... Why did it draw in mana? Uh, we have, okay, so and then we can go for the Creed Roof. So we don't, we want to stay alive next turn, I guess. Uh, we'll see what our opponent does. He has a lot of mana, at least. And uh, a lot of artifact spells for this Mishra's workshop. I mean, when you watch uh, the vintage tournaments, the shops decks are just awesome with the 
fast mana that it can produce and just uh, lock out your opponent with spheres and stuff and then put out like maybe I mean you can go turn one uh, five three uh, maker okay so now he o-rings okay Garrock hmm. well if we can resolve the titan uh, I guess we could theoretically come back I don't know why he was so afraid of the Garrock I mean his stuff flies I guess he could have a counter here No. Then we're screwed. Okay, he did not. We don't have the mana for the natural order, though. <clears throat> we would have wanted a land on top here, actually. It would have been nice to be able to natural order. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we could actually play Crater Hoof next turn. We'll see if the Frost Titan sticks in play. Artifact spells he hits them all the time. They're almost all the time relevant as well. Taps, taps again. Okay, worm coil, pretty good draw. He should, he would have played it last time, last turn if he had it. But I guess. This does it. Hopefully. No, he swords it. Okay. Is it enough? Tap down that guy. Yeah, it was. Oh. <laughs> Okay, so somehow we won this. I think he had a l very much had a better deck than we did. And I return to details. Uh, why can't you chat with them when it's over? Okay, sorry, I would have wanted to say GG's because he was good. See you in round two.